After a couple of rainy days and taking pictures of all the flowers and the water droplets, we finally had some sunny weather. I woke up early today and stretched. After eating breakfast, I immediately started painting a second coat of white paint on the new kitchen ceiling and and the walls. We started the the first coat yesterday and it needed a whole new coat. After I did that, I spent the rest of the day outside. I worked on a path I've been making in the yard and planted some seeds in little pots. And a couple seeds just in the ground and hoping that they'll come up. For lunch I shucked a couple of corn cobs and boiled them and we had them with canned clam chowder. After that, I continued to work. Today just felt really good. I wasn't tired like I have been recently. It wasn't cold, even in the breeze. I feel like I got a lot done. Once I felt like I was done for the day, I I uh, took a bath and just relaxed. It was so good for my back. Just doing manual labor is really tough sometimes. And then around dinner time, I had a craving for some kind of like red, orangey broth, like gumbo or minestrone soup, even though I had soup for lunch. I looked through some recipes that my mom had given me, but we didn't have a lot of the ingredients, so I decided to just make it up as I went. So I looked around the house and grabbed whatever ingredients I thought would be good. Based on other soup making experience I've had, I planned like what order I wanted to do things and like what seasonings I wanted and stuff like that. So I started with getting some onions out. Um, I had found an onion that started sprouting, so I I carefully chopped the outer onion off and removed the inside and I saved that so I can hopefully plant that in the garden later. I got my specific <laughs> onion chopping goggles out because I just cannot handle <laughs> the onion spice in my eyes. It hurts so bad. So got those. I sauteed them in some butter. Um, I added a couple of crushed and chopped cloves of garlic, and then I added water like one cup at a time until it felt right, and that ended up being seven cups of water. So because I added seven cups, I added seven teaspoons of beef bouillon. Um, I threw in a can of diced tomatoes to give it that minestrone fill and chopped up some assorted vegetables we had. I scraped off the kernels of one of the corn cobs we didn't eat for lunch and added that. All the potatoes were growing sprouts like the onions, so I moved those as well to plant tomorrow. I chopped the potatoes, carrots, we had some already chopped bok choy and cabbage, um, so I added some of that as well. I brought that up to a boil and grabbed all the herbs I had picked and just sprinkled some into my mortar and pestle, trying to... the herbs I added were basil, savory, coriander, thyme, herbed poultry, and celery seed. Then after that, I let it simmer for eight minutes or so. I checked every once in a while to see if the carrots were soft. I thought about adding this hot sauce that I got recently, so I tasted the broth to see if it needed anything, but wow, it was so good. It was exactly what I had wanted. 
I love the smell of cooking soup. It's it's so good. I just love it so much. But it was because it was exactly really like what I felt like I needed. I just left it how it was. Then tested it a couple more times and once it was done, I spooned out a bowl for me and Ben. He and I both agreed that it was really good. And even though he wasn't hungry, he still ate the whole bowl. <laughs> I told him about my hot sauce idea, so he got a couple out and we tried it with some little drops in. And, oh, it was so good. It really did. It's, it's just good with and without. So, after we were done eating, I set the onion and potato sprouts aside next to my garlic greens in the window. I'll try to get a garden bed ready tomorrow and plant some of them. I might plant the garlic, I'm not sure though. I'm really proud of what I did today. I'm really in the mood or motivated to cook. And the fact that I got up early and made myself three meals today and I painted a whole kitchen and I worked in the yard. It was a very, very fulfilling day. And I had gotten out of the habit of stretching daily, so doing that this morning was really nice. And I even washed my face today. So, I'm really proud of myself. It was a good day. <laughs>